Dudes are the funniest people on the planet. That's a black dude for sure. I know a black dude's laugh. That's all I did all of February. I just fell asleep. The black dude's laughing, man. Like, that was my ASMR. That brings me such joy. What's your name, bro? Uh, Tori, man. Who you here with? I've never been more sure somebody's been a side chick in my life. <laughs> Black dudes answer you without even answering. They really do. Who are you here with? Ah. <laughs> What's that? I said we good. Ain't nobody's cameras out. You all right, man. You all okay. <laughs> but don't start no shit, man, because I'll fucking boom. Got your ass. Boom. Got you on camera, Tori. Suspicious. Oh, man. I hope I get a side chick someday. Just go do all the things I'm not supposed to in public and shit. One more time. No side, just the main. That's your main girl? Yeah, you felt the need to reiterate that? You felt the need. You're like, just to make sure. What's that? You almost got me in some shit. <laughs> You almost got you in some shit, man. Okay, this is your one and only girlfriend. No. Don't do that. Don't sit down. All right, sit down. Stop making this woman think fu the Tory fucked you. Okay, do not do that. Don't say that. No, you don't. You don't know who's sitting back there. Who's the girl you know? I know Brittany. You know Brittany? with Britney forever ago. Right? Next subject. Next subject. <laughs> what, you don't like talking about black history? <laughs> <laughs> Chapter one, Britney. <laughs> you said everybody knows Britney? Yeah. Britney sounds like a hoe now. Everybody knows her. Hey, Tori, don't say that. <laughs> Has anybody ever dated somebody that they felt like because of how religious they were, it was kind of like a hindrance to the relationship? Yes. Did you, did you really? Yes. A preacher. He was a preacher? Oh, fuck. <laughs> what, uh, what, what, what religion? Pentecostal. Air Apostle? <laughs> he sold shirts? Penico penico penicillin? <laughs> what is that? Um, Say believe in speaking in tongues and things. Lucky you. <laughs> I'm not Pentecostal, but I can read lips. <laughs> yeah, I'll, be all right. yeah, I'll be okay. What was his nationality? He was white. Okay, just wanted to make sure this wasn't just regular Spanish. <laughs> and you were like, ah! <laughs> how, how old was he? How old are you? 21. 21, okay. Was Preacher like his full-time job? No, he was a floor. <laughs> so he's not speaking in tongues, he's just, just talking shit. God, God. <laughs> you don't know if he was like talking to the devil or describing his work. Like, you flush it, it's gonna... <laughs> Somebody left a demon in this toilet. <laughs> That's disgusting. 21. Have you seen anybody now? Uh, I'm talking to someone. Nice. Uh, okay. No. no. What? Oh, it could be a good person. Where'd you meet this guy? I met him at a frat party. <laughs> Have you learned nothing? In what world do you think that's better? <laughs> okay. You traded holy water for fucking jungle juice. You don't have any kids or anything, right? No. No? Okay, good. 
I'm 21 in Kentucky. That's like late. So I didn't. Really, uh, I know some 21 year old grandmas who live who live in fucking uh, Louisville. You know what I mean? Oh. I'm not pronouncing it like I've got a dick in my mouth. <laughs> Use all your fucking letters, okay? What are you guys, fucking British? This is my security in case any of y'all in your Will Smith shit right now. I feel like getting offended and running up on stage. Keep my wife's name out your fucking hands. Cause yeah, never mind, whatever. That's such a cool skill, man. This is like you solve an imaginary Rubik's cube. It's just killing shit. Is uh, anybody gay? Anybody at all? Anybody? Anybody in the vicinity? <laughs> I know you good with your hands, dog. Oh, I know it, dog. I know it. <laughs> this man will jerk you off with a poem. <laughs> You're so sweet. I've just never been in this position before. This is so much fun. <laughs> Oh, the sacrifice. The fuck? Did, did my interpreter just get gentrified? I don't understand. Who, um, who, who are you signing for? I didn't, I didn't even know. Um, I'm not sure. She said back there. No, it is not you, bitch. You've been here on the whole show for sure. You make us wish we were all deaf, to be honest. Uh, you don't sound deaf at all. You sound, this just seems so extra. What was your name? Nicole. Nicole. Great to meet you, Nicole. How did you, um, how did you hear about the show? Um, fuck. No, 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 no. Nice to meet you guys. This is so exciting. Thanks for coming. I just, I just wanted to know. Sounds like you don't need to be here, to be honest. Right? <laughs> Let's everybody be nice. Especially you feisty. I like your energy a lot. I'll come back there and take your fucking batteries out. I swear to God. <laughs> I swear to God. I'll turn, I'll turn you off. All right. Super Bowl. <laughs> Y'all gotta chill the fuck out, man. If I have her sign something, will you relay it verbally? <laughs> you didn't know this was deaf comedy jam, did you? <laughs> Was that? Only firefighters. 
Only firefighters. Yeah. How, how many firefighters have you dated? Honestly? Yes. Oh, wow. but, but the whole station? Or the whole station? I hope your Twitter name is Ladder69. I kind of wish I kind of wish there was a firefighter here because you get flamed right now. You did a firefighter too? I got some text messages. Oh shit! All right, well, drop the screen. If you want the airplay, some text messages. They're aggressively creepy. Well, I called you a good girl. I called you a good girl. That's, that's, that's kind of hot. Woo! I don't know shit like that. <laughs> also, this, this is two women already. I feel like firefighters are getting hella ass in Portland. <laughs> what, 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 was, what was your experience? You, just didn't, you didn't like him coming on that strong? Yeah. I gave him my number, but then mm. after a while, I was like, no, Where'd you meet him at? I didn't meet him. You what? <laughs> well, how did you get him your number? Ten. Bitch, that's the red flag. <laughs> you, know, you know what the irony is? The Tinder logo is fire. <laughs> how crazy is that? I'm sorry you had that experience with that probably fun guy. <laughs> What's your name, bro? Corey. Corey? It's a very white name. Uh, <laughs> It's short for something. It's short for something? It's short for What's it short for? I mean, it's still very white. Even when it's short for is white? It's Cornelius. Cornelius? <laughs> Yo, what? <laughs> Bro, you can't even say the N word, if I'm being honest. You can't. You don't get to say it. Cornelius! <laughs> Ain't that the motherfucker from Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer? Who's like, Silver! <laughs> Dog, your credit score is 900. Shut up. Oh my god. It throws them for a loop. It does. It throws everybody for a loop. How many job interviews have you gotten over the phone? I, I've never been. I've never been declined. From You've never been declined. That's why. Enjoy white privilege, Cornelius. <laughs> it ain't so bad, right? It's kinda cool. <laughs> I fuck with you, Corey. <laughs> My dude. What do you do for work? I work for the water authority. Did you go to college for that? Nope. You didn't go to college? There's yeah, the black. I, <laughs> <laughs> I did go to school for a little bit to be a cop, though. You went to school to be a cop? Back to white. <laughs> Interesting. And why'd you, why'd you bow out? Politics, and I was a better criminal. <laughs> I asked him why he stopped going to training to be a cop, and he goes, politics, and I was a better criminal. Back to black. <laughs> Who are you, Cornelius? You're a mystery, bro. I feel like if we smoke together, I'll be like, are you even really here? He's still fucking his baby mama. Well, that's loyalty. <laughs> it sounds like if, he should, if he's fucking anybody, he should be the mother of his child, no? Am I crazy for this one? It kind of sounds like you break up a family. <laughs> He's still in his house with his wife and his baby. The audacity of this man to live happily ever after. What's the problem? He doesn't fuck with her? No, he said he don't fuck with her, but he's lying. I think he's lying. Yes, he's lying. <laughs> That's what we call a blatant lie. <laughs> I mean, maybe he should be—he shouldn't be dating you on the side if he is actually interested in her. I will say that. How long have you been seeing him for? Four months. Four months. That's tough. That's that. This, you know what? This is a little too early to be having this many red flags. To be honest, like this big of a problem this early on in the relationship, it, it might not work out. So I, my best advice would be to either I'd say break up with them or also get pregnant. <laughs> Play this bitch's game, okay? He was FaceTiming her the other day and she was breastfeeding at the same time. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> Damn. Damn. How are they? 
It I sounds like you do something very well that she doesn't. Yay! Like raise her child? <laughs> Maybe you might be the, you might be the best mom for this situation. I don't know. Man, this is the coolest episode of Doctor Phil I've ever been on. <laughs> this shit is all over the place. By the way, this isn't normally how this crowd work goes. Usually, someone will be like, ah, you know, they have, I don't, know, they have fucking, they wear flip flops or something silly. But y'all are like, no, my life is in pieces. <laughs> okay? Fuck yeah, dude. That's what I'm talking about, man. <laughs> how long you been out and about? 2020. Summer of 2020. Summer of 2020. Fuck recently. Were you just that bored in the house? How old are you? 20. You're 20? So you were. You, your birthday's this Wednesday? Happy birthday, man. Um, Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Oh my god, now you guys gotta compete. Who sucks better dick? That is, uh, you think so? He's got home field advantage. <laughs> All right, let's test it. Alex, get back out here. Alex, get back. <laughs> are you single? You are single. It, you're gonna die that way if you want to be quiet. You got any more room on your team? Cause this shit is annoying. Oh. oh my god. So no public boyfriend just yet. It's complicated. He's not shit. He ain't shit. Why do you say that? Why do you... Don't cheer you homophobes. What 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 made what made him not shit? Besides you in there. You know? <laughs> Cause he was blocking the pet. Whatever, dude. Whatever. Whatever. You fucking turds. <laughs> but you were fucking turds, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. Um, I'm sorry. Real question. What's your name? Jesse. Jesse. Pleasure to meet you. What do you do work-wise? I uh, take care of my two younger brothers. You take care of your two younger brothers? What do you want to do after the kids are grown? Um, <laughs> I, I was going to school for forensic anthropology. You, you were going to school for forensic anthropology. What's that? <laughs> so, um, basically, I would like, look at dead bodies and try to figure out uh, what happened to them. Did you get to the point in the school where you were like face to face with a dead body? No, I, I quit going to school because I almost you wait, hold on. What I, would you rather I not repeat that? I don't care. She basically she stopped going to school because she started having some negative thoughts and wanted to focus on some health care, some self care. We'll, we'll, we'll phrase it that way. She was, she was not doing so well mentally, so her parents were like, here, watch our other two kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, Jesse! You're in no position! Oh, my God. <laughs> well, good luck. I hope you don't end up looking at two more dead bodies. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, you guys. <laughs> would you be, like, in, like, the morgue? Is that where, 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 where like, your work would take place? Like going where the body is. Field work. It's not a term I would be using in the South, but. <laughs> <laughs> Field of work, maybe. But. Um, <laughs> I roasted you. I figured I at least owed you a conversation. So thanks for being so sweet. Um, don't put me in your note. <laughs> Do you have light up shoes? I do. <laughs> Why? <laughs> They're so bright. You're welcome. Was that? I said you're welcome. You said you're welcome? Yeah, thank you for bringing Christmas lights on your feet. I appreciate that. <laughs> if you click your heels together three times, you go back to Dayton. How cute is that? <laughs> can I see it? Can I see it so they understand? Can you take, can you, are you able to take one of them off? Or both, forever? <laughs> Look at this kiosk motherfucker right here. 
buy these at the same kiosk, you can get your phone screen fixed for $7.99. <laughs> you got those on Amazon? Give them back. Free return policy. Read the shirt. What'd your show say? Put your balls all over me. It's Christmas. I feel like you can't wait to have your chimney come down. That's my <laughs> Oh my god. It's been a hard year. It feels like you've learned nothing. What? Did you say I had my whore phase in the Marines? Yeah, that's what I want my soldiers doing. <laughs> How'd you get those hostages back? Well... Uh. <laughs> soldiers are army, Marines are Marines. Well, those shoes are off regardless. So <laughs> those can't be service mandatory. What did you do in the Marines besides suck dick? Circumcise. Circumcise. <laughs> oh, it's Semper Fi. Sorry, sorry. Different one. Different one. Sorry. I didn't know. What's that one? You. Whoa. Oh. Alright, bitch, turn these lights on. Turn the house lights on right now. I ain't broke right now. Who said more? What about what? What? <laughs> what about me? I'm too cocky. Well, imagine I was like a timid comedian, and I was like, "You guys, you guys ever have your your, your grandpa fuck a fucking flashlight?" <laughs> Confidence is like so key, you know what I mean? Like especially to delivery, you know? <laughs> hey, I I come quick like everybody else. Okay, I'm just I'm simply human, you know. <laughs> uh, was that it? Is, is it is it ego thing? You think? No. No. You changed your answer. What is it, what is it now? Huh? She told you not to do it. She told you not to do it? You should listen to your friends. Did she give me your number? No. <laughs> no. Please nobody give me their number. What's that? Alright, go ahead and read it out loud for everybody. Go ahead. I'll take it down right now. What is it? She won't do it. <laughs> Go ahead, what is it all though? Eh, okay. Oh, one. Did I get that right? Nine one one, right? That's what you said. Is that, is that who you call? Is that who you call to file a restraining order? I'm not sure. <laughs> All right, what's your social security number? Since we're just out here throwing numbers around. Anybody ever seen a ghost? What about in your bathroom mirror? Oh, a ghost in your bathroom mirror? The only thing I've actually ever seen in my bathroom mirror is just this fine ass dude. He just be. He just be. He looks scary good. That's crazy. Man, died from too much puss. That. What did you hear about a bathroom mirror? No, I saw one in my bathroom mirror. You saw one in your bathroom mirror? Yes. What did it look like? So it's actually, I'm convinced it's actually my brother who passed away. I walked into the bathroom and I turned the light on and there was a static figure and then it like dissipated. Oh shit. Yeah. My yeah. aunt believes she's a medium, so she's a one. Your, your aunt believes she's a medium? <laughs> but that is really a large? <laughs> so stupid, man. <laughs> Next time a person's like, I'm a medium, I'm gonna go, mm. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to show your family. What happened? Oh. <laughs> so, basically, her aunt, who believes she's a medium, told them that she believed there's ghosts in the house. 
And then they said that she was crazy and got her institutionalized. That is so fucked up. She tried to save y'all. Is she still in there? She lives in that house now? And she's like, I ain't saying shit now. Y'all can get possessed. I don't care. <laughs> shit flying off the walls. Did you see that? Nope, sure didn't. Your cookies? Do I want what kind of chocolate chip? Are they soft chocolate chip or like the, the hard ones? Soft? Can I have one? Oh, they're fucking massive. Can I have the whole thing? Are you sure? If this is poisoned, I swear to God. Edibles? Oh my God, it could be edibles. Oh, I don't know. Chicago. <laughs> Cut to 45 minutes from now. Can you guys feel my jokes? <laughs> Be my fucking nightmare, bro. It is very good. Where are you from? Crumble? Is that like a local Chicago place? No? It's a, it's a chain? Now, who booed cookies? What do you have against Crumble, dog? You a rival bakery or something? You got ops out here? You don't fuck with crumble? No. Why not? Because they crumble and I heard they don't. Bitch, it's in the name. <laughs> yeah, you name a, a, a bakery, they stay together. And see how well your business does. Just fucking biting on bricks and shit. That's solid advertisement. They never led you astray, even once. Do you have the cutter with you? With the crumble. There's, like there's a, a cutter. A cutter? Yeah. Oh, there's a cookie cutter that comes with the cookies? Do you have it? Even though they've already been cut. Oh, it cuts them in a slice because they're so fucking big. Yeah. Oh, yeah. again, another perk. <laughs> I'm tired of you having a problem with all the positivity. <laughs> with this bakery. Anybody else see this picture moving? <laughs> if this shit really kicked him, I'd freak the fuck out, bro. There's also police officers here. I met a... Uh, Officer Swindell. Officer Swindell. Did you meet Officer Swindell? Oh, is that his wife? This is him. Oh, man, he said you take forever to come. He said that before the show. And he dared me that I wouldn't say it at the show. You seriously gotta work on that. That's his trigger finger. And they really, like, he's got a... Oh, man. Now, he said you guys have great sex. He said he beats it up like you fit a description. He really does. But he said sometimes he lets her wear the bulletproof vest and everything. <laughs> Wait, they won't play. She puts on the bulletproof vest and then she's a teacher. Sorry, I'm not one of your students. My bad. Sorry about that. <laughs> That's not even the last school shooting joke of the show. I lived in a crematory. You lived in a crematory? I, yeah. My old apartment was a crematory. Pennsylvania had the first crematory. Why do you know that? <laughs> Who the fuck just knows that statistic? <laughs> Nerd. And it's right next to a nursing home. It's right next to a nursing home? The convenience. <laughs> Beth. <laughs> There's a cemetery by the children's hospital? Come on, Pennsylvania. Have a fucking heart, man. 
You do not put a cemetery next to a fucking children's hospital. You put it next to the school. You I told you there was one more. I fucking told y'all, man. I didn't know where or how it was gonna go, but we fucking, we found it. <laughs> All right, that's the last one, probably. Oh, yes, do match. You guys have matching snakeskin boots. It's both snakeskin? Python, yeah. Python, fuck yeah. Not, not, none of those gardener snake bitches. <laughs> These are coupled up, obviously matching. All right, so how long? Five years. Five years? Where'd you meet? In North Carolina. In North Carolina? That's specific. Where? <laughs> you met at a bar? You met at a bar? Uh, well, yeah. I was underage and drunk. <laughs> hey, stop talking, stop talking, stop talking, stop talking, stop talking, stop talking, stop talking. Under 21. Under 21, okay. <laughs> you almost ruined the show. He approached you or you approached him? I don't remember. You don't remember? <laughs> also not a good sign. Uh, what do you guys do? Basket weaver. Basket weaver? What the fuck? Bro? You married to a fucking hunter-gatherer? What the fuck? You work for the fucking Easter Bunny dog? That's coming up. That's time of the year. That's actually how he got her at the bar. He just he laid down a trail of eggs. It was like... <laughs> and then he had one of those big picnic baskets up on a stick like this. And then she went underneath it and he went, ah, got her. <laughs> like a fucking Looney Tune. <laughs> how long have you been doing that for? Five years. Five, five years? Did she take your fucking manhood, dog? What did you do beforehand? Work at a steel mill? Coal mines. Coal mines? Are you serious? <laughs> Man made you start weeping baskets. Um, sorry. Do you like it? Yeah. Come on, man. It's just us. You enjoy the job? It's fine. What would you like to do if you could do anything in the entire world? Any job? Fly a helicopter. Fly a helicopter. Interesting. Man, I, I used to love helicopters, but I'm also a Lakers fan. And you know what's fucked up? He's wearing a black mamba on his feet. <laughs> Can I see one of the boots? Are you able to take one of them off? This is the real deal, man. This is some real shit right here. <laughs> Smell his boot. What the fuck's wrong with you people? Jesus Christ. This is so stupid. As if, as if I would ever. What, what happened with your ghost story? Monterey, Mexico. You look like you're not from there, so visibly. I was in Mexico City and I was driving back to uh, Kansas. And I went through Monterey. I was in a, I was in a hotel room that night. In our room, I was with three other people, also witnesses to this event. Mm -hmm. And there was a probably like an eight foot figure in our room. There was an eight foot figure in your room. Mexicans are not that tall. <laughs> so instinctually, you're like, that's not supposed to be here. <laughs> Unless it was just like two of them in a trench coat. Like, you know, you know, you know, you know when kids are trying to get into an amusement park and they're just fucking... <laughs> One adult, please. Okay, so you saw, you saw this tall-ass figure. Okay. That's a true story, man. That's the end of it? Okay. So it definitely it made an indescribable sound that I cannot. It made an indescribable sound. You mean Spanish? <laughs> <laughs> this was this was just housekeeping. <laughs> <laughs> he, he woke up at nine a.m. and just heard. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I clean. Ah! <laughs> Dia de los muertes. <laughs> So it made this sound. How would you describe this sound? Like a whisper scream. Like, I mean, honestly, like a whisper scream? Was it a ghost of the yin-yang twins? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? And then did it just disappear? Did it walk away? It levitated over the bed. Oh my god! It levitated over the bed? It, all right, so it levitated over the bed, and you were like, ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> Could you guys in the back hear what happened? You could hear the story, okay? I right, just wanted to make sure. Yeah, basically he was in Mexico. He was doing some gay shit with his friends. <laughs> and, uh, scared him a little. Have you ever seen a ghost? Yes, I have. I have back here. I have hey, <laughs> there's six of us in here. I saw you. Me, 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 That's how you win a breakup. That's how, that's how you do that shit. It actually almost got into bed with her. Actually. It almost got into bed with her? So I was I was going to sleep. Shh. And it was mumbling in some language I did not understand. Spanish. In Spanish. You had a monster come to the foot of your bed. It was mumbling some kind of language you didn't understand. And then you thought it went away. And the covers beside you in bed lifted up and then let back down. You farted. Shut up. Oh, my God. Nice try. Ugh, smells like eggs in here. Must be a demon. I think our house is haunted, bro. Get do you hear that grumbling? Yeah, bitch, that's your guts. You sick right now. <laughs> Backtrack. Hold on. How did your How did your ex send a demon to you? Okay, so he was a very big like. He did, like, witchcraft stuff. Okay. He did witchcraft? This is already on you. <laughs> At what point in this relationship was he like, I'm a witch? Also, real quick, aren't males wizards? <laughs> yes. So he, was a, he was a wizard. You, you, he threatened to kill you. Why? Because I broke up with him. Valid. Well, I broke up with him. <laughs> A day before the year anniversary? Come on, bitch, you couldn't have waited two more days? <laughs> you couldn't have had the anniversary and then one day after be like, that was really fun, but... I feel like it would have been worse if I celebrated the year with him and then broke up. I don't think so. <laughs> I think he probably had some shit planned, maybe a sacrifice <laughs> for the, me, for the one... Sacrifice. You don't look like a virgin. I don't think it was... Gonna be <laughs> How was the dick, though? <laughs> That's why you make a deal with the devil, right there. Like, I'll sell my soul for just six, Lord. I swear to God. Please. <laughs> I've never seen a demon. I don't imagine. Have you seen an angel? Um, yes. I actually saw one. <laughs> I keep hitting you with shit that I'm like, this is the end of the conversation for sure. I just saw one too. demon I meant. I mean, a demon. That girl looks like she'll suck your soul out. <laughs> Just in case. 
have light up shoes? Why? <laughs> They're so bright. Was that? You said you're welcome. Yeah, thank you for bringing Christmas lights on your feet. I appreciate that. <laughs> if you click your heels together three times, you go back to Dayton. How cute is that? <laughs> can I see it? Can I see it so they understand? Can you take? Can you, are you able to take one of them off, or both forever? <laughs> Look at this kiosk, motherfucker, right here. <laughs> you buy these at the same kiosk, you can get your phone screen fixed for seven ninety nine. You got those on Amazon? Give them back. Free return policy. What'd your show say? Put your balls all over me. It's Christmas. I feel like you can't wait to have your chimney come down. That's why. Like, oh my God. It's been a hard year. It feels like you've learned nothing. No, I had my four days in the Marines. It's fine. What? Did you say I had my whore phase in the Marines? Yeah, that's what I want my soldiers doing. <laughs> How'd you get those hostages back? Well... <laughs> soldiers are army, Marines are Marines. Well, those shoes are awful regardless. So <laughs> those can't be service mandatory. <laughs> what did you do in the Marines besides suck dick? Circumcised. Circumcised. <laughs> Sem oh, it's Semper Fi. Sorry, sorry. Different one. Different one. Sorry. I didn't know. Okay. Right, so, who went pro and didn't take you with them? Who was it? <laughs> <laughs>
Aww. You didn't really, you didn't spring to get him any clothes? That's kind of the whole, you didn't really build the bear. You just kind of, you kind of just, it looks like you stole one, kind of. There's a voice moment. Yeah, he presses paw. Presses the paw. What if I press it and it's just like, I want you to fuck both of us. It might be the other one. That sucks, I can't lie. That's, um, that's, uh, it's not incredibly audible, but it's a thought that counts. Thank you so much. This is, this is one of the, the sweetest, laziest gifts I've ever Thank you. Oh, back in there you go. There we go. Hey, fuck yeah, dude. That's what I'm talking about, man. Uh, how long you been out and about? Twenty twenty. Summer of twenty twenty. Fuck recently. Were you just that bored in the house? How old are you? Twenty. You're twenty. So you were. You, your birthday's this Wednesday. Happy birthday, man. Um, You guys gotta compete. Who sucks better dick? That is, uh, you think so? He's got home field advantage. <laughs> All right, let's test it. Alex, get back out here. Alex, get back. <laughs> are you single? You are single. It, you're gonna die that way if you want to be quiet. Anyway, you got any more room on your team? Because this shit is annoying. Oh. oh my god. So, no public boyfriend just yet? It's complicated. He's not shit. He ain't shit? Why do you say that? Why do you, you, don't cheer, you homophobes. What, 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 made, what made him not shit? Besides you in there. Because yeah. <laughs> he was blocking the pet. Whatever, dude. Whatever. Whatever. You fucking turds. <laughs> but you were fucking turds, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. Um, I'm sorry. Real question. What's your name? Jesse. Jesse. Pleasure to meet you. What do you do work wise? You take care of your two younger brothers? What do you want to do after the kids are grown? Um, <laughs> I was going to school for forensic anthropology. You, you were going to school for forensic anthropology. What's that? <laughs> so, um, basically, I would, like, look at dead bodies and try to figure out what happened to them. Like, how Did you get to the point in the school where you were, like, face-to-face -face with a dead body? You wait, hold on. What I, would you rather I not repeat that? I don't care. She basically she stopped going to school because she started having some negative thoughts and wanted to focus on some health care, some self care. We'll, we'll, we'll phrase it that way. She was, she was not doing so well mentally, so her parents were like, here, watch our other two kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, Jesse! You're in no position! Oh, my God. <laughs> well, good luck. I hope you don't end up looking at two more dead bodies. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, you guys. <laughs> would you be, like, in, like, the morgue? Is that where, 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 you, where like, your work would take place? Could be. I also fucking... thought about doing Field work, so like going where the body is. Field work. Not a term I would be using in the South, but. <laughs> <laughs> Field of work, maybe. But, um. <laughs> I roasted you. I figured I at least owed you a conversation. So thanks for being so sweet. Um, don't put me in your note. <laughs> Did you know that it's Black History Month? You did know that. Have you learned anything yet? 
No? Oh, Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. Does anybody have a, a black history fact or, or statistic that would... Uh... Oh, let's hear this white guilt. What, what was it? What, what do you got? Um, um, African American um, invented the super soaker, Lonnie Johnson. What's that? They invented the super soaker? Lonnie no way! Wasn't it Lonnie what? Johnson. What is it? Lonnie Johnson. Lonnie Johnson. Lonnie Johnson. <laughs> that, bro. That sounds like every cornerback. I used to love the super soaker, man. Okay, that's, that's a good one. What's, uh, what's, another, what's another one? He also invented the Nerf gun. The same guy invented the Nerf gun? I mean, if they're going to keep shooting each other, might as well be safe. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck y'all, dude. That's a good joke, man. Dude, can we end on a fun third? Does anybody have another one? Nope. <laughs> Not looking good, Connecticut. <laughs> We've heard enough. <laughs> What's that? It used to only be a week long until a president changed it to the month. Black History Month used to only be a week long, yeah. and then a president changed it to make, to make it the whole month, yeah. the shortest month. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what president it was? I don't remember. You don't remember? I do want to know this, actually. It was Lonnie Johnson. Bro. <laughs> yup. Yep. I was going to give it a second. I was going to say the same thing, bro. I was going to act like I was Googling for 10 seconds. Lonnie Johnson. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, we are learning. We are learning some stuff. I ever be married? Just down here. Widowed? Oh, fuck, I'm sorry. How, how long ago? Don't mind me asking. One year? Fuck, oh, that's so recent. So you back on the market? Or what? <laughs> Can I ask how old you are? Can I ask how old you are? She did this. That's how old you are. Turn me up. Yes, ma'am. I've never called a woman ma'am. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm sorry. Yeah, yes, age. 69? Yeah, you are. <laughs> Ghost off. <laughs> I love your sense of humor. You're fantastic. I love, I love you were able to like laugh off these guys. This pot's fucking Shut up, I'm taking it. Can I, this is the last thing I probably know. Can I, can I ask how? Or what from? Breathing problem, a lot of oxygen, or maybe you took his breath away. Murder. She said, I would love to fuck you, but... <laughs> and, uh, she, she, it's very beautiful, actually. She said when her husband was in the hospital, he was telling the doctors, like, no, this is all her fault, because she took my breath away. That's so sweet. God damn it. <laughs> How do you get your name? My name yes, is Sherry. What is it? Sherry. Sherry. That's old as fuck. That's <laughs> Yeah, you must, have been, you must have been the one Frankie Valley was singing about. <laughs> Has anybody ever seen a ghost? Have you really? Wait, hold on. Before you get into this, does anybody have any weed? Wait, do you really? What do you have? You have a whole joint? What does she have? You have a, pe a dab pen? Can I, am I allowed to have this? Can I have... Why does it look like a pregnancy test?
Tastes like urine. <laughs> it's called Ghost. <laughs> what? If this isn't a sign, I don't know what is. Oh my God. Does that mean your kid's not gonna make it? So do you think like if, if she entered a room where two people just got done just fucking the <laughs> shit out of each other, she would be like, <gasps> I'm choking again. Oh I'm like, no, they used to shoot porn in this room. <laughs> you never know. Cemeteries. Do you have anything you want on your tombstone? <laughs> you guys um, ever think about this? Like, cause that's like the thing that people see your name, your year. <laughs> what what was it? A QR code. A QR code? <laughs> a QR code to what? Your OnlyFans? <laughs> God rest her soul, but them titties can come back. God damn. About to give me a resurrection. A res erection. Come on. Man, y'all gotta hit this ghost shit. This is, uh... Does anybody have any weed? That's gonna help me get through this, like, tremendously. Good. Is weed legal in Alabama? Good, because I, I personally love to vape. Uh, just regular, just regular, um... Just regular, it's a hookah stick. It's pure nicotine, how cool are the cops? How cool are the cops gonna be? I feel like I feel like this this, this scene in um, fucking Gladiator. Just fucking give me a. <laughs> Why'd you let me do that? Shouldn't have done that. Thank you, officer. <laughs> Appreciate you. Thank you for, it's, it's been a white privilege. <laughs> I appreciate it. No, you do not have a white privilege card. Let me see this. White privilege trumps everything. Wow, dude. There's a back? Yes. This card grants its bearer happiness and success because it's the color of your skin and not the choices you make that determine your abilities to be successful. <laughs> Dog. Alright, now give me the N-word pass. Trades, tradesies, tradesies. Nope, y'all thought, y'all thought, y'all thought. A black man owns the company that sells these. Really? <laughs> well, if that isn't reparations. That's a beautiful thing right there. A black man selling white privilege. That, you know what? I love 2023. I'm actually totally okay with that. How did you know he had the cards? We've been lying. We're all friends now. He pulled out the card in line? That might be the whitest thing to do, by the way. <laughs> you, you, you ever heard of white privilege? Yeah, I know it's a thing. No, it's really a thing. You gotta, you gotta know a guy. You gotta, you, gotta, sorry, you gotta know a couple guys. You gotta know a group of guys. We all meet on Wednesdays. We all wear white. You should really come in line. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's a good time. It's, uh... it's literally 13 bucks on Instagram. I didn't know it. 13? Like the amendment? You guys are dressed like the Wiggles, you know that, right? 
Like in Fifty Shades of Sacramento. Like you guys are all different. Did you purposely dress in, in different colors? I saw my face on the shirt. That was the least concerning part of the entire organization. It was really the color coordination is what's really impressive. Yellow, red, kind of pinkish, and then, and then green. Nice. Uh, those photos are trademarked, though, and I'm going to need $35,000. We're going to have to press charges. And you guys look like you have the money. So I'm, fucking, I'm following through for sure. I'm sorry, I've just never met a pallet of pussy before. This is... I feel like I'm trying to fuck in like the paint section of, of Home Depot. You're just like, mm. Mm. You live in Washington, state or DC? Is a Bigfoot up there? You haven't found him yet? Keep looking. And make him wear the blue blazer when you find him. <laughs> I, I can't get over the Wiggles design, but I really can't. Like it's <laughs> what's your guys' song? Good pussy, yummy, yummy. Good pussy, yeah, yeah. The squish it. I don't know. I don't know the rest of the fucking songs, dude. Are you guys all single? Kind of. Sort of. Sort of. <laughs> Only in Sacramento or what? It, what's that? Is it going on TikTok? It depends on how much of a disaster your lives are. I don't know. <laughs> You're single. I am. What about you? I'm married, but I'm, I'm available for free drinks. <laughs> married, but available for free drinks. You out of your fucking mind? You know what? It makes total sense that you're the one dressed like a red flag. That actually takes total sense. <laughs> this completely checks out. Wow. Okay. So married. Married, single. Divorcing. Divorcing. Oh. Green flag. <laughs> Look at that shit. Nice. Yeah, they're so. And, and then caution, like, what's your deal? You know what I mean? You're just, you just, you're just kind of single, floating around, like, well, we'll see. Yield. <laughs> Should have left ten minutes ago. Yeah, we gotta wrap this up because I'm trying to, I'm trying to go back to the hotel and taste the rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> This is my security in case any of y'all on your Will Smith shit right now. <laughs> like getting offended, running up on stage. Keep my wife's name out your fucking hands. Because, <laughs> yeah, never mind. Whatever. <laughs> That's such a cool skill, man. This is like you solve an imaginary Rubik's Cube. <laughs> it's just killing shit. Is, uh. Anybody gay? Anybody at all? Anybody, anybody in the vicinity? <laughs> I know you're good with your hands, dog. Oh, I know it, bro. I know it. <laughs> this man will jerk you off with a poem. <laughs> You're so sweet. I've just never been in this position before. This is so much fun. <laughs> oh, the sacrifice. The fuck? Did, did my interpreter just get gentrified? I don't understand. Who, um, who, who are you signing for? I didn't, I don't, I didn't even know. Um, I'm not sure. She said back there. <laughs> no, it is not you, bitch. You've been here on the whole show for sure. You make us wish we were all deaf, to be honest. Uh, you don't sound deaf at all. You sound, this just seems so extra. What was your name? Nicole. Nicole. Great to meet you, Nicole. How did you, um, how did you hear about the show? Um, fuck. No, 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 no. <laughs> Nice to meet you guys. This is so exciting. Thanks for coming. I just, I just wanted to know. 
Sounds like you don't need to be here, to be honest. Right? <laughs> yeah. Tell everybody to be nice. Especially you feisty. I like your energy a lot. I'll come back there and take your fucking batteries out. I swear to God. <laughs> I swear to God. I'll turn, I'll turn you off. All right. Super Bowl. Super Bowl. Super Bowl. Y'all gotta chill the fuck out, man. If I have her sign something, will you relay it verbally? You didn't know this was Deaf Comedy Jam, did you? You didn't know. <laughs> so trash. <laughs> Buffalo, dude. <laughs> you, saw, you saw me barely touch it, right? Is it, Don't make them oh, that one right there? You knew this was gonna happen. That's why there was a backup. Oh, god damn it. Oh. Let's see. How do I? Hey guys, I don't work at Radio Shack. <laughs> Fucking telling me how to do equipment stuff. There we go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. There we go. It's also loose, right? Uh, I gotta, I gotta hold my shit like a rapper. The whole show. Let's go. What? Yeah, I'll try. Oh, is there a wireless one? Oh shit, we got options. Okay. I'm gonna put this back. It's on now. <laughs> check, check. Nope, nope, nope. So what do y'all want to do after this? <laughs> it's on now, right? What else to do? <laughs> I say you up. It's not. It's still not on. I can go back to that one. Yeah. All right, here we go. <laughs> Let's fuck it. Yeah, that'll be fine. We can just leave the the core of this one off. That's okay. <laughs> I'm not. You see, I'm not even touching it, right? Like that's. I am, this shit's bound to move around. The wireless not shitty good enough. <laughs> Bro, this shit feels <laughs> Bro, This shit feels like I'm like the base of an orgy and I'm just like ah, eh, 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 the whole fucking time. <laughs> Alright, let's hope this is the one. Let's see what happens. Yeah. I fucking hate this city, man. I just should. This shit would never happen in Albany. <laughs> I wish I could turn y'all's mic off right now. I really could. <laughs> How long are you? Seven months. Seven months? Oh my god, it's almost here. It fucking hurts, right? Yeah. What would, if you could compare it, like a guy having to go through, like what do you think we would have to go through to, to, to experience something like that? Like anal. Anal? 
Doesn't sound that bad. I think it's a lot worse than anal. I, w- I would imagine. I think like it's, it's a different pain. I mean, you've taken a big shit before, you know? That's basically anal, you know what I mean? Every dude in here has taken a shit so big that you're like, I could be gay, dude. Like this. This was light work, you know what I mean? Nothing, bro. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> no. Mila and... Roberto. Roberto? Roberto. Umberto? Sure. <laughs> I haven't heard that one before, but okay. What about you, Roberto? <laughs> what are you doing? You're a sheriff? For real? I didn't mean anything I said. I, like, I was just fucking around up here. You know what I mean? I don't even, I, it's a cool name. <laughs> and you've never shot anybody? You've shot in somebody. <laughs> Does that scare you about him like having to have a job like that that's so dangerous? It does? Yeah, see, if I wait like, well, if I don't get a response within like two hours, I'm like, I hope he's not dead. If you don't get a response within the two hours, you just think he's dead? Yeah. It's not, it, no, that, he could just be cheating. Like, it's not, it's, it's not always that serious. It's not always that. Bad. Y'all gotta get some more black friends, bro. I'm telling you, man. Black dudes are so fucking. Oh, y'all read a book. I, <laughs> I've got ESPN. <laughs> Y'all gotta step the fuck up, bro. Let's go. Thank you. <laughs> That's beautiful. Well, you making me scared. <laughs> so bad. Jesus Christ. Especially in the dark, I can't even fight you back there, dog. It's... <laughs> Jesus Christ. See what I mean? Don't say it, be it. What? What? You ain't a nigga, but act like one. Given a script, I just played the part. Okay, I want to thank the academy. <laughs> All right, let's talk to somebody who spent Valentine's Day alone. Let's see. Virgo men are the worst. You know what's funny about this? Before I even de- before I even defend myself, I don't even care. I don't even believe in this shit, but I can't let it slide, okay? Virgo men and Aquarius men. You're Aquarius? Oh, I thought you were annoying. I'm sorry, I thought you were. I'm so sorry. I, I thought, that's my bad. Why do you think Virgo men are the worst though? You don't fuck with them? Look, I would fuck you, I just, I haven't washed my hands since petting a dog. I just, I don't want to do that to you. (laughs) Smells like an Aquarius. (laughs) What's that? Not you, though? Yeah, all the other Aquarius. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The quiet ones, yeah. What's your name? Amelia. Amelia. Man, I wish you would disappear like Earhart. I really (laughs) do. Are you in school? Yeah. Flight school? No. What are you in school for? Business. Business? Yeah. Like minding your own? (laughs) What do you want to do with a business degree? I don't know. You don't know? You don't know what you want to do when you grow up? You don't know? No ideas? You just want to be rich. Look, it's do. 
nursing, you will be rich, for sure. I don't know if you're Filipino enough to make it, but... You're what? Hungarian. Hungarian? Well, my parents are. Your parents are from Hungary and, and their daughter's from Thirsty? <laughs> black dudes are the funniest people in the place. That's a black dude for sure. I know a black dude's laugh. That's all I did all of February. I just fell asleep to black dudes laughing, man. Like, that was my ASMR. That brings me such joy. What's your name, bro? Man. Who are you here with? <laughs> man, I've never been more sure somebody's with a side chick in my life. Black dudes answer you without even answering them. They really do. Who are you here with? Ah. Who was that? I said, we good. Ain't nobody's cameras out. You all right, man. You okay. <laughs> but don't start no shit, man, because I'll fucking, boom, got your ass. Boom. Got you on camera, boy. Suspicious. <laughs> oh, man. I hope I get a side chick someday. Just go do all the things I'm not supposed to in public and shit. No side. One more time. No side, just the main. That's, the, that's your main girl? Yeah, you felt the need to reiterate that? <laughs> you felt the need. You're like, just to make sure. What's that? You almost got me in some shit. <laughs> you almost got you in some shit, man. Okay, this is your one and only girlfriend. Don't do that. Don't sit down. All right, sit down. Stop making this woman think the Tory fucked you. Okay, do not do that. Don't say that. No, you don't. You don't know who's sitting back there. Who's the girl you know? I know Brittany. You know Brittany? Yeah. He broke up with Brittany forever ago. Right? Next subject. Next subject. What, you don't like talking about black history? <laughs> Chapter one, Brittany. You said everybody knows Brittany? Brittany sound like a hoe now. Everybody knows her? Hey, Tori, don't say that. Oh, there you are. Yeah, you. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I looked over, I was like, there's an empty chair there. I was like, where'd she go? You were taking a shit, it's fine. It's fine, no one's gonna have a Oh, I'm embarrassing you. In front of everybody. Okay, Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday, Adam. You just got it. <laughs> oh, you're sweet. I'm just fucking with you. I love you. I love you too. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I was just making sure in the bathroom that I look good for you. That's it. You were just making sure in the bathroom that you look good for me? Yeah. Do a double take. <laughs> Oh my god, this is fun. Oh shit. Can I tell you you look pretty just to make you feel better? First of all, you never need a man to tell you you look beautiful. So no. No, you, you look great. You look great. You. Yes, I mean it. We just said we're gonna meet out in the back. No. no. 
I love you too. You're very sweet. Yeah. Yes. I love watching you. Oh man, I wish you would love listening to me. You look so good. One of us has to. I'm kidding. You guys can't skip my side of the refuge. She is very beautiful. Is your birthday? That explains it. How old are you turning? 21. 21? That explains it. Would you like the wrist, man? Come here. Bro, <laughs> you scared the shit out of me, dog. <laughs> bro, I'm not Chris Rock, though. I'll kick you in your chest, bro. I swear to God. <laughs> are you dapping me or you want the hoodie or my wallet? What do you want? <laughs> careful, dog. Careful. Do y'all watch Criminal Minds? One handsome motherfucker at a time, dog. Did you have some fun? I ain't got jokes like this motherfucker right here. I'm Jamar Moore. I told him when I got here. I've been watching him on YouTube. And, I, and, I, and I'm meeting him for the first time tonight. I'm seeing him live in person. Like a lot of us, I'm sure. For the first time, but I've been watching and me and my girl, my baby mom, and, I, and my girl comes to me and she's like, Shamar, you're the sexiest motherfucker in the world, Jenny, you're the father of my daughter, but I want to fuck Matt Wright. Check this out. Then we're going to go meet the motherfucker, but you ain't going to fuck. <laughs> but the, re the reason I'm here is because I like seeing motherfuckers win. I like seeing motherfuckers win. And this, and this, this young white boy, who wants to say nigga so bad? <laughs> he does all his friends are black. <laughs> but he can't say it, because he'll get cast. But when he comes to my house, I'm going to say, get it out of your system. Nigga, 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 I just watched him on YouTube, and I was like, yo, this motherfucker's funny, and he's pretty. And, and no, they were like, pretty people ain't supposed to be funny. Kevin Hart is not pretty. He's short, and he's funny. Chris Tucker, motherfucker, damn! Okay? Dave Chappelle is rich as fuck. He's not Chef. pretty. True. I'm pretty, goddamn it. This motherfucker is pretty, but he's honest, he's real, and he's funny. And I DM'd him like a bitch. And he DM'd me back like a bitch. So now we got a romance going on. And I said, I'm going to come to your show, and I'll pay you like a bitch. But he did give me the tickets for free. Stage, but I just want to say, I believe that this dude is on his way. He sells out every show. And I believe, I believe you are going to see Matt right in whatever it is in his heart, in like all, all his jokes and all of that stuff. And I want to see this motherfucker in front of a bunch of dicks. Because I think he can handle himself. But my point is, let's applaud. The bravery, the boldness, the unapologetic Matt Wright. And let's watch him grow. Let's watch him grow. Appreciate you, man. Thank you, brother.
Thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. Can I add it? He's stealing. <laughs> Go stairs this way. Yeah, be careful. One more time for Tay Diggs. Good forearms on you, says her sisters. <laughs> What's your name? Casey. Casey and Jesse. Jesse. Pleasure to meet you, Casey and Jesse. You guys are adorable. Where'd you guys meet? In Columbus, Ohio? You guys drove from Ohio? You're not even allowed to be gay up there. That's crazy. <laughs> what? Stay down here. Well, well, <laughs> maybe. Let's go west a little bit. Yeah, um. You got here yesterday. Are you going back tomorrow? Did you guys do anything fun for Easter? Repent, maybe? <laughs> Did you guys go to church this morning? You had food poisoning? Fuck. Eating the wrong fish. <laughs> That's Jesus saying clean up your life. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Now what's Penn's Mechanical exactly in, in Columbus? An arcade bar, like um, pinball machines and stuff like that. Nice. Just work on your finger and just. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Do you remember who, who'd you come out to first? You don't mind me asking. Your friends? And did they know? They were like, "Yeah, bitch, you you look you dress like that. You don't skateboard at all. <laughs> You're young. You don't have to do it anytime soon. What would you ever want, kids? You think?" If I'm rich. If you're rich? Yeah. Well, you're going to have to stop working at an arcade bar. <laughs> That's step number one. Oh, man. I go through backpacks like crazy. Like, because I fly so much and they always fuck up my bags. It's always the, like, the, the, the lining on, like, where the strap meets the actual backpack. It gets fucking torn. I'm always carrying so much shit. I, I go through more straps than you guys do. <laughs> trying to get to it. I was like, how can I, how can I squeeze that in without any lube, you know? Mm. That's so cute, man. I wish I was gay. Yeah. I'd never pay for it. Yeah. You calm down back there before I have her come back there and peg the shit out of you. I swear to God. What gets in the way the most? Communication, I guess. Communication, that's a big one. Well, it doesn't always need to be verbal, you know. I'm sure you guys are pros at reading lips. You know, settle it, rock, paper, scissors. You know, like adults. You got your foot up on stage the whole, you hella comfortable, man. What, what kind of work you need those boots for? Electrical contractor. Electrical contractor, nice. You ever been electrocuted? I have, well, shot. You been shocked? Yeah. Like finding out your daughter's a lesbian? <laughs> we did IVF. You did IVF. Inver infertile in uh, uh, <laughs> infertile vitro asphyxiation? <laughs> they put eggs yeah. and semen inside you yeah. and then they just fucking <laughs> Uh, this is my impression of them after an argument. <laughs> <laughs> did you know it was going to be two? Like, did you know you were selecting twins? Yes. Oh, really? I didn't know you could do that. Sex. You had to choose the sex. You can't do that. Canceled. <laughs> cancel, 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 cancel. Shame. This is what I was talking about, man. With Nashville, so funny. You guys were like, no school shooting stuff. But I was like, a little bit of transphobia. And you guys were like, yeah. We're back in it, baby. Uh, yeah, you can't make fun of the kids, just the shooters. Yeah, I get it. Anybody gay? Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I can't see your haircut in the dark, but yeah. Oh, yeah. How long have you been uh, lesbian? Biologically, what were you born? Female. Oh, I appreciate you. What's your, what's your name? Carl. Axel, but Axel's a 
Charlie, but you go by Axel. Ooh, the gangster ass name. How'd you land? How'd you land on Axel? Your best, you let your best friend pick your name? Oh my god, my, I could never. My best friends would be like, your name Baby Dick. From here on out. <laughs> you chose the name? How did you, how'd you land on Axel? <laughs> you built like a carburetor. I don't know. <laughs> now you built like a transmission. But that's a, Actually, you're the fucking best. Oh my goodness. Thank you for being such a sweetheart. We should go get some, we should go get some bitches after this. Let's go. I had a 14 year ago, so I'm down. Who, uh, who, who are you married to? Male, female? Uh, another trans guy. Another trans guy. Um, same situation, biologically? Okay, gotcha. Well, why didn't it work out? Shut the fuck up. You were taking care of him because he was paralyzed. What what had happened to him that he was paralyzed? A muscle disease. And he met her through TikTok. And he was DMing her like, will I ever walk again? And, he, and the medium was like, yeah, you about to walk out on your marriage. Um, where'd you meet him? Where'd you meet him? No way. I'm a, I'm a drag king, so I met him doing drag. No way. Fuck you. What's up? You have a stage name? My name's Gunner Down. Gunner Down. With Gunner Down as the name, I picture you going like full Rambo, just shirtless. And then you come out, your big line is like, you know I stay strapped. And you pull out a, you pull out a strap on. <laughs> Axel, you're such a sweetheart. One more time for Axel, everybody. There's also police officers here. I met a... Uh, Officer Swindell. Officer Swindell. Did you meet Officer Swindell? Oh, is that his wife? Oh man, he said you take forever to come. He said that before the show. And he dared me that I wouldn't say it at the show. You seriously gotta work on that. That's his trigger finger. And they really, like, he's got a... Oh man, now he said you guys have great sex. He said he beats it up like you fit a description. He really does. He said sometimes he lets her wear the bulletproof vest and everything. They like, hey, won't play. She puts on the bulletproof vest and then she's a... Teacher. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not one of your students. My bad. Sorry about that. <laughs> That's not even the last school shooting joke of the show. I lived in a crematory. You lived in a crematory? I, yeah. My old apartment was a crematory. Why do you know that? <laughs> Who the fuck just knows that statistic? Nerd. And it's right next to a nursing home. It's right next to a nursing home. <laughs> the convenience. <laughs> Beth. There's a cemetery by the Children's Hospital? Come on, Pennsylvania. Have a fucking heart, man. You do not put a cemetery next to a fucking Children's Hospital. You put it next to the school. You I told you there was one more. I fucking told y'all, man. I didn't know where or how it was gonna go, but we fucking, we found it. <laughs> All right, that's the last one, probably.
Got a heated jacket? What kind of pimp shit is that? I'm making you laugh so much that you're sweating. Man. I will say getting complimented by a black dude is way better than ever busting a nut. I will say that. It's, it's just, it, you have to work harder for it. Just girlfriend. Gotcha. How long? How, when did y'all meet? Fifteen years ago. Hey, man, I'd roast you, but your jacket already cooking you, so. <laughs> yeah. What's your name, man? Will. Will, great to meet you, Will. You're cool as hell, man. What you, what you do, Will? Um. <laughs> Say less. <laughs> ah! We got him. We got him. Oh, you gotta go to the bathroom? Go ahead, man. We'll wait. Can I see his jacket? Can I wear it? I just wanna be wearing it when he comes back. Thank you. Thank you. Shit, heavy as fuck. This is the heaviest jacket. Shit is hot. Bro, this jacket just does something to you, man. I've had this jacket on for 10 seconds and my hand is just like. What's up, William? How many polar bears you kill? I feel like this is how pilots dress on Spirit Airlines. <laughs> it's so hard to not go through your pockets. But she asked me. She asked me nicely not to, so I won't. I'm trying to feel. Let's see. I know the shape, but like, I don't know what. I don't know what it could be. Oh, I thought it was, but I didn't recognize the end of it. It's drugs. It's drugs. Just a little, just a little paraphernalia. And in this pocket, cigarettes. Um, your phone. That's stupid as hell. That's stupid as hell. Man. Oh my god. I mean, you have to forgive me. I haven't, I haven't held an, an iPhone seven in so long. <laughs> This is a 12? This is the smallest 12 I've ever felt. It's a mini? When they make mini 12s? You got a... Is this a pre-roll tube? It's in the opposite... It's in this one. Drugs. I knew it. <laughs> this is the most ghetto magic show ever. <laughs> Man, you guys should have seen when he disappeared in front of his kids. Oh my god, that was. <laughs> well, you're a great dude, man. I really fuck with you heavily. I'm gonna take this off before I'm an accomplice. Yeah, I smell like Newports. <laughs> Were they Newports for real? No! Didn't even look at them. Oh my god. Yeah, y'all shit on stereotypes until they're real funny, huh? Yeah. Fuck y'all, man. Have you ever seen a ghost? Yes, I have. I have back here. Hey, <laughs> there's six of us in here. I saw you. Me, 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 me,
That's how you win a breakup. That's how, that's how you do that shit. It almost got into bed with her? Spanish. <laughs> In Spanish. You had a monster come to the foot of your bed. It was mumbling some kind of language you didn't understand. And then you thought it went away. And the covers beside you in bed lifted up and then let back down. You farted. Shut up. <laughs> God. Nice try. Ugh, smells like eggs in here. Must be a demon. <laughs> I think our house is haunted, bro. Get, do you hear that grumbling? Yeah, bitch, that's your guts. You sick right now. <laughs> Backtrack. Hold on. How did your how did your ex send a demon to you? He did like witchcraft stuff. He did witchcraft? This is already on you. <laughs> At what point in this relationship was he like, I'm a witch? Uh, well, also, real quick, aren't males wizards? <laughs> yes. So he, was a, he was a wizard. You, you, he threatened to kill you. Why? Because I broke up with him. Valid. Well, I broke up with him. <laughs> A day before the year anniversary? Come on, bitch, you couldn't have waited two more days? <laughs> you couldn't have had the anniversary and then one day after be like, that was really fun, but... I feel like it would have been worse if I celebrated the year with him and then broke up. I don't think so. <laughs> I think he probably had some shit planned, maybe a sacrifice <laughs> for, the, me, for the one... Sacrifice. You don't look like a virgin. I don't think it was... Gonna be <laughs> How was the dick, though? <laughs> That's why you make a deal with the devil, right there. Like, I'll sell my soul for just six, Lord. I swear to God. Please. <laughs> I've never seen a demon. I don't imagine. Have you seen an angel? Um, yes. I actually saw <laughs> one. I keep hitting you with shit that I'm like, this is the end of the conversation for sure. I just saw one too. demon I meant. I mean, a demon. That girl looks like she'll suck your soul out. <laughs> Just in case. What a heated jacket. What kind of pimp shit is that? I'm making you laugh so much that you're sweating. I will say getting complimented by a black dude is way better than ever busting a nut. I will say that. It's, it's just, it, you have to work harder for it. Just girlfriend. Gotcha. How long? How, when did y'all meet? 15 Hey, man, I'd roast you, but your jacket already cooking you, so. <laughs> What's your name, man? Will. Will, great to meet you, Will. You're cool as hell, man. What you, what you do, Will? <laughs> Say less. <laughs> ah! We got him. We got him. Oh, you gotta go to the bathroom? Go ahead, man. We'll wait. Can I see his jacket? Can I wear it? I just wanna be wearing it when he comes back. Thank you. Thank you. Shit, heavy as fuck. This the heaviest jacket. This shit is 
hot. Bro, this jacket just does something to you, man. I've had this jacket on for 10 seconds and my hand is just like... What's up, William? How many polar bears you kill? I feel like this is how pilots dress on Spirit Airlines. It's so hard to not go through your pockets, but she asked me. She asked me nicely not to, so I won't. I'm trying to feel. Let's see. I know the shape, but like, I don't know what I don't know what it could be. Oh, I thought it was, but I didn't recognize the end of it. It's drugs. It's drugs. This little. Just a little paraphernalia. And in this pocket, cigarettes. Um, your phone. That's stupid as hell. That's stupid as hell. Man. Oh my god. I mean, you have to forgive me. I haven't held an, an iPhone 7 in so long. <laughs> this is a 12. This is the smallest 12 I've ever felt. It's a mini? When they make mini 12s. You got a, is this a pre-roll tube? Probably. It's in the opposite, it's in this one. Yeah. Drugs. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> this is the most ghetto magic show ever. <laughs> Man, you guys should have seen when he disappeared in front of his kids. Oh my God, that was... Well, you're a great dude, man. I really fuck with you heavily. I'm gonna take this off before I'm gonna come. Firefighter. All right. Oh, shit. 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 Oh, shit.
I say fight now so I don't have to work for the next 30 minutes. I say, uh, uh, y'all are clearly a couple. Who, who, who's the guy in her life that you hate? It's her best friend. How, how long has this guy been your best friend? A couple of years. A couple of years. Okay, that doesn't mean he hasn't been trying to fuck you for a couple of years. Where'd you meet this best friend? At work? Oh, that's worse. Oh, no. She has to see him every day. Okay, where do you work? At a school. You're not fucking these kids, are you? Are, are you a teacher? Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay, all right, okay, okay. What do you teach? You teach math? All right, fuck you. Um, what, is he a teacher as well? What does he teach? Uh, science. Science? Would you say you two have chemistry? So I just found out apparently I'm colorblind. Don't know how long that's been going on for, but man, I tell you what, shocked me too, came right out of the purple. Some people say that I've got a tiny cock, which is accurate. His name is Winston. He's my favorite. And now I have a tiny cock, at least I've got a huge pin. Wanna know how to pleasure a woman? I know this. I know this one. Guys, you listen to her. Ladies, am I wrong?